Well, I've always wanted to be a fashion designer. I think ever since my mother gave me my first sewing machine, after I begged and begged <laughs> when I was nine years old, and um, she bought me a, sew a singer sewing machine. And uh, you know, at the time, you know, I didn't have any mannequins, so I started sewing for dolls because it was just easier to learn. And I was kind of just messing around on the sewing machine. You know, in my little moleskin notebook, I sketch endlessly every single day, and you know, maybe bits and pieces of an idea, and somehow they come up to t come together. And ateliers is where they make the drawings come true. And when we actually fit the garments. Um, the garment itself sometimes tells you what it wants to be and you make modifications. Sometimes a coat can become a jacket, a jacket can become a dress, a dress can, be, can become a skirt. You know, and, and it's, it's kind of this ever going, ongoing evolution of ideas that inspired me up to until the second the girls walk out. Well, my ethos is that it always has to be made with the utmost perfection always has to be cleverly designed, and I think it always has to be refined. You know, I will work, rework a scene over and over and over again until it's the perfect scene, even when there's only two or three of them on one dress. You know, it might be a bias cut, spiral cut dress that only has one continuous scene, but that scene has to be the perfect scene. You know, we obsess over details, and we care about the idea of perfection. And it was really um, a special moment for me because I, you know, I'm an immigrant here trying to um, fulfill my dreams of becoming a designer, but here I am becoming a part of American history, and that's something you don't count on and don't expect, certainly. And to have your work as a part of the Smithsonian Museum and to be preserved in that fashion is amazing and something that I can be so proud of and look back on, you know, that can never change. I, you know, I'm always kind of inspired by different things, and you know, I, 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 I liken my process as kind of being a blender. <laughs> you know, I, I see so much. I mean, I travel all the time. I, I go to movies. Um, sometimes just something, someone walk down the street and you see something happening, or it could be somebody that's wearing something interesting, or a color that inspires you. You know, it's really inspiration is something that comes in random time and you never quite expect it. I love the idea of this military green. You know, it's, there's something quite um, strict about that color and I wanted to render that in a way where it wasn't so severe, you know, the, the ideas of a military color. So, you know, I made a coat, a jacket that was a little bit looser. There's always this reference of American sportswear in my, in my collection. So the idea was that it was a bit of a, a more generous fitting jacket that had a sporty sensibility with a fur gilet inside that could be removable, harking back to the very original form of American sportswear, the functionality, you know? And, and then on top of that, it's layered with this couture attitude of the slightly fuller sleeve and the beautiful silver fox dyed in deep green. The rich materials, double face finish on the wool really sets this garment apart from being an ordinary jacket to an extraordinary jacket. And inspired by the 50s and 60s and that really golden era of fashion and, and, and there was always a little bit of classic inspiration in what I do. And the idea that it has a sportier silhouette and that it does come apart makes it interesting and new. And, uh, and that's when it gets really exciting when, when kind of your vision comes through in real life as a way you thought in your head. Jason Wu is gonna be a global lifestyle brand, you know, and that's what I want, you know, that's, I want to do, I wanna address every aspect of our lifestyle. And um, that's really interesting for me. You know, I've always thought, said that when you know how to design and when you have a clear view, vision of what you want to do, you can be able to apply to that, apply that to anything. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of that and, and I believe in that.